What's going on YouTube? Just right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 13.5.1 with the latest check range jailbreak on pre A12 devices. So basically the iPhone 10, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 7 Plus, 6S and stuff like that. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software Dr. Phone Phone Manager, which allows you to transfer your photos, your videos, your music and your messages from your iPhone to your computer and vice versa. Check it out in the link below for both Windows and Mac OS. So as you probably know, the check range jailbreak has been released a couple of months ago and it's one of the most powerful jailbreaks we've ever had. But officially it only supports iOS 13.5 and lower. You can see here that the uh, latest version to be added was 13.5. However, you can jailbreak 13.5.1 using the check range jailbreak unofficially. Now as you probably know, the 13.5.1 is currently the latest version available and it's currently signed. So using the check range you will be able to jailbreak it with no problem. And as I said, this jailbreak works from the iPhone 5s all the way up to the iPhone 10. Now, you should know that this jailbreak is actually a semi-tethered one, so if you reboot your phone, you're going to have to redo it again using a computer. But if you do it, it's actually very, very stable because it uses a boot from exploit. Now, this video is more for beginners. I do know that the veterans in the community do know about the check range jailbreak and what it can jailbreak, but this video is more for the beginners in our community who do not know exactly what to do. Now, check range is available for Mac OS or for Linux. You can see that there are multiple Linux architectures in here available including the ARM64, ARM and x86. There is however no Windows version at the moment and there is no Windows version on site. So basically if you are a Windows user there are a couple of ways to get the check range working but you're going to need to do a dual boot or of course you can do a live USB with Linux and run check range on that. Now on the macOS version it looks like this. You get a DMG file and once you mount it it looks like this. So you get the application, you drag it in the applications folder and it should be good to go. However if you open it you can see here it says sorry iPhone 7 plus GSM is supported but iOS 13.5.1 is not. The supported versions are 12.3 all the way up to 13.5. Well that's what we call a lie because this one actually works pretty fine with 13.5.1. It's just not officially supported. So you can see that I cannot press start. So how do you even jailbreak if it's not supported? Well, if you press here on the options, there is one checkbox in here saying allow untested iOS, iPadOS and tvOS versions. So we can simply press in here allow untested iOS versions and go back. And as you can see now, the start button has been enabled. And we can press start in here and it says the device is running an iOS version which was not confirmed to work with this build of check range. Device may fail to boot or become a stable continue at your own risk well i tell you that it does work with 13.5.1 because the only thing that 13.5.1 changes from 13.5 is to patch the kernel exploit used by the uncovered jailbreak and that's basically it so the patches that are used in here will work now we need to put the phone in dfu mode as you can see here we have the next button and it enters in recovery mode from that mode you should be able to put it in dfu mode with no problem but there will be instructions on the screen so we're waiting for the phone to get into recovery mode. So as you can see in here, we get some instructions on how to put the phone in uh, DFU mode and you have to press start and follow the instructions. So I'm gonna press start and we have to press the side button and the volume down button and keep them pressed. And of course, at some point release the uh, side button, but keep pressing the volume down until the phone is detected. Okay, as you can see, the device is in DFU mode. This is in here right before a trigger and this may take a couple of seconds. So uh, yeah, it says booting. And at this point, you should basically see the Apple logo with the check rain logo on top of it and of course a lot of text on the screen and at this point you will be able to jailbreak your device using check rain on 13.5.1 so yeah it says booting here and all done that's basically it you are now jailbroken on 13.5.1 even though it says in here that it's not supported by default so it says in here ios 13.5.1 is untested continue at your own risk but if you press options in here and disable this you can see that it says it's not supported so ios 13.5.1 is not supported however i am now jailbroken and let me actually unlock the phone and yes I do have the check rain in here so let me actually show you so as you can see I do have the check rain application in here we press on it and you can see it says install and I'm going to have the option to install Cydia if we want to but I don't want to install Cydia at the time being because it's already installed in here and if I open it you can see that it does work so let's see what iOS version I'm on it says 13.5.1 on iPhone 9.4, which is basically the iPhone 7 Plus. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm now jailbroken with check rain on 13.5.1, which is not supported officially, but of course you can jailbreak it with the check rain. Thank you for watching. I am GS Now. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.